this video I am going to install this GTX 1050 Ti into a HP Elite Desk 800 D1SFF PC without doing any case flaps or case mods. This is a used GPU, so I will clean it and apply new thermal paste first. When I tested the performance of the GPU inside the PC, the thermals rose to such a level that the GPU throttled. So it is clear that it needs additional cooling. Some of these pieces have an additional fan header, but this one doesn't. It would of course be easier to just use a fan splitter from the CPU fan header, but uh, I was interested if I w it would work to just solder a new header on the MOBO in the place where my other HP SFF has a fan header. As you can probably see, I cannot really solder, but uh, I got the header stuck uh, on there somehow and uh, it indeed works. After reapplying thermal paste to the CPU, I installed the additional fan and uh, the GPU with a PCI Express riser. The GPU can just fit there with the riser. In this part you have to be really really careful not to sort anything out. Also check that the GPU fan can spin and isn't hitting the extender cable. Remember to check that the car doesn't sort itself out on the back panel. I secured the GPU on place. I did not put the bracket back on the GPU and took off all the PCIe slot covers to allow the GPU to exhaust hot air better. With the 
fan installed the GTX 1050 Ti performs like expected. The temperature should still climb relatively high, but it doesn't throttle. This PC has been in mostly gaming use for quite a long time now, and there has been no problems with it.